Green tea diet, what is it and how can it help you lose weight? The green tea diet is a simple, natural way to boost weight loss. It consists of drinking at least four glasses of green tea throughout the day. In an effort to suppress the appetite and boost metabolism, it is recommended that a glass be consumed upon awakening, as well as before each meal, and can also be used as a healthy substitute for a snack during the day. A supplement, or green tea extract, can also be used instead of drinking the tea. Whereas the origin of the green tea diet is unknown, the Chinese and Japanese have been drinking the tea as a healthy option for many centuries. Borrowing from this concept, the Western world has begun consuming it in large quantities. Discovering its weight loss properties along the way. 1. Lowers the amount of carbohydrates. In particular starch. The body absorbs. A study conducted by researchers at the Poznan University in Poland. Found that a dose of 4 grams of green tea extract. Caused a decrease in starch digestion and absorption. 2. Boosts the metabolism. Research done at the University of Geneva. Switzerland. Shows that green tea speeds up the average person's metabolism. Therefore increasing the amount of calories they burn. This is believed to be due to the catechins. Potent antioxidants. Found in the leaves. In addition. Natural green tea is caffeinated and originates from the same plant as black tea. Camellia sinensis. It contains a significantly smaller amount of caffeine. Which isn't harmful. But still helps to stimulate and energize those that are consuming it. This can be beneficial for weight loss. As individuals are more energized during workouts. 3. Helps to burn fat stores within the body. To be converted to energy. Fat within the body needs to be broken down in the cells. And then moved through the bloodstream. The team at University of Geneva also found that the amount of fat burnt by those who took green tea extract was significantly higher than within the bodies of those that didn't. Those who are thinking about using the green tea diet to achieve their weight loss goals will need to keep a few things in mind. These include. To maximize the effects of the green tea on weight loss. Participants need to consume between 3 to 5 full glasses per day. The best type of green tea to use are brands which use natural products and no artificial preservatives. Preferably, tea should be brewed with the leaves instead of a tea bag. This will allow make more of the essence to be extracted. So that it retains its nutrients. Water should be poured directly over the tea. Right before it boils and the tea brewed for 3 to 4 minutes. Drinking green tea cold is believed to burn more calories than when it is consumed hot. Because the body has to burn energy to warm it up after. 1. According to the University of Maryland Medical Center. The antioxidants in green tea also help to neutralize free radicals in the body which can prevent certain types of cancer and other diseases. They also boost the immune system in other ways. 2. The diet is relatively easy. And inexpensive. And most people can safely do it. Participants should also include a moderate exercise regime for the best weight loss results. 1. Dehydration. Green tea is a natural diuretic. And can lead to dehydration. Those following the diet should balance the amount of tea they drink per day with the same number of glasses of water. 3. Stomach problems. The Chinese and Japanese do not consume green tea on an empty stomach. Because the tannins it contains may cause stomach aches. Nausea or constipation. Before using. Rinse and crush the lemongrass. Then place it, along with the ginger in a saucepan with two cups of water. Bring the mixture to a boil. Remove from the heat. And add the tea bag. Leave them to brew for five minutes. Chill and then serve. Both lemongrass and ginger aid in digestion. And ginger adds to the green tea energy boost. This results in a healthy drink that promotes healthy digestion. As well as hours of energy. Wash and dice the mint leaves. Place them, along with the tea bags. In a glass and pour boiling water on them. Brew for 5 minutes. Refrigerate for 2 to 3 hours. Sweeten if desired and serve cold. Mint helps to speed up digestion. Prevent hunger cravings and burn fat in the body. With its low calorie content, a total of 9 calories per glass, it is also a perfect addition to any diet. Place the lavender and tea bags in a container. And bring a small saucepan of water to a near boil. Pour the water over the mixture and allow to brew for up to 5 minutes. Refrigerate and serve chilled, with an optional lavender sprig. Lavender give a subtle flavor to green tea, making it possible to forego any added sweeteners and eliminate extra calories. If you are thinking of beginning the green tea diet, please consult a physician to ensure that you are healthy enough for diet and exercise.
Daily Mail, How Green Tea Could Help You Stay Slim, Extract in the Drink Found to Reduce Amount of Starch that is Absorbed from Food Healthy Hub, Does Green Tea Have Caffeine? Why It's Better Than Coffee? Authority Nutrients, How Green Tea Can Help You Lose Weight Naturally The Beauty Gypsy, Sip Up to Slim Down, The Right Way to Drink Green Tea for Weight Loss MedHealth.net, Green Tea Diet Kerjoy, Green Tea Side Effects and Who Must Avoid It. Julie McCormick, Julie McCormick is a writer and co-owner of the Cleveland Leader, a Technorati Top 1000 site. Read Full Profile. Have you ever noticed that some people are able to effortlessly remember even the most mundane details and quickly comprehend new things? Well, you can too. Learning how to improve memory isn't as difficult as you might think. To unlock the full potential of your brain, you need to keep it active and acute. Wasting time on your couch watching mindless television shows or scrolling through social media is not going to help. Besides getting out flashcards, what can you do to help remember things better and learn new things more quickly? Check out these 10 effective strategies on how to improve memory. Physical activities don't just exercise the body but it also helps to exercise your brain. Obesity and the myriad of diseases that eventually set in as a result of being overweight can cause serious harm to the brain. So when learning how to improve memory, exercise is king. Furthermore, without regular exercise, plaque starts to build up in your arteries, and your blood vessels begin to lose the ability to regulate blood flow. Plaque buildup reduces the amount of oxygen and nutrients that your blood carries to your brain. When the nutrients don't make it there, the brain's ability to function is compromised. One study in particular found that exercising four hours after learning significantly improved memory retention. The researchers suggested that, appropriately timed physical exercise can improve long-term memory and highlight the potential of exercise as an intervention in educational and clinical settings. To improve your memory, make sure you get moving every day. Even if it's just a brisk walk, it'll help you maintain and increase your mental acuity. Brisk walking. Swimming, and dancing are all excellent activities. If you have trouble finding time to fit in a workout, check out this article, 5 Ways to Find Time for Exercise. Any risk factors that cause you major stress, like anger or anxiety, will, in time, begin to eat away the parts of your brain that are responsible for memory. Amongst the most brain-damaging stressors is depression, which is actually often misdiagnosed as a memory problem since one of its primary symptoms is the inability to concentrate. One study assessed memory in 3,999 veterans and found that depressive symptoms, without anxiety, had an adverse effect on immediate recall of new information and the total amount, but not rate, of acquisition. If you can't concentrate, then you might feel like you are constantly forgetting things. Depression increases the levels of cortisol in your bloodstream, which elevates the cortisol levels in the brain. Doctors have found that increased cortisol diminishes certain areas of the brain especially the hippocampus, which is where short-term memories are stored. Prolonged depression can thus destroy your brain's ability to remember anything new. Seek professional help to combat your depression and any stressors causing it, your brain will thank you. Getting a consistent 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night will help you in your task of learning how to improve memory. During sleep, the brain firms up memories of recently acquired information, especially during REM sleep. Getting enough sleep will help you get through the full spectrum of nocturnal cycles that are essential to optimal brain and body functioning during the waking hours. On the contrary, sleep deprivation can put a huge dent in your ability to form memories. Another helpful strategy is to take a nap during the day, especially after learning something new. This can also help you to retain those memories, as well as recharge your brain and keep it sharper longer. However, the length of your nap is also very important. Scientists in one study, found that people who napped for 30 to 90 minutes experienced better word recall. 50 to 60 percent of the brain's overall weight is pure fat, which is used to insulate its billions of nerve cells. The better insulated a cell is, the faster it can send messages, and the quicker you can think. This is precisely why parents are advised to feed their young children whole milk and to restrict dieting. Their brains need fat to grow and work properly. Skimping on fats can be devastating even to the adult brain. Thus, eating foods that contain a healthy mix of fats is vital for long-term memory. Some excellent food choices include fish, especially anchovies, mackerel, and wild salmon, and dark, leafy green vegetables. Deep-fried foods obviously contain fat, but their lack of nutritional value is not going to help your brain or your body. 
So think healthy foods and fats first. According to Larry McCleary, MD, author of the Brain Trust Program, an egg is the ideal breakfast. Eggs contain B vitamins, which help nerve cells burn glucose, antioxidants that protect neurons against damage, and omega-3 fatty acids that keep nerve cells firing at optimal speed. If you want to learn how to improve memory, breakfast is incredibly important. Other foods to add to your breakfast include fruits, veggies, and lean proteins. Avoid trans fats and high fructose corn syrup. Trans fats diminish the brain cell's ability to communicate with each other. And one study found that HFCS can actually damage the brain by promoting brain insulin resistance. Having a healthy breakfast in the morning has been shown to improve performance throughout the day. Don't skimp on this important meal. Nowadays, it's fairly uncommon to write down notes with a pen and paper. When we go to class or meetings, we take our laptops and use that to mark down important ideas. However, recent research has suggested that maybe doing us more harm than good. One 2014 study found that even when laptops are used solely to take notes, they may still be impairing learning because their use results in shallower processing. You can start a journal, write yourself emails, or even start keeping a blog. All of these activities will help to improve your capacity to remember and memorize information. Most importantly, if you're going to class or to a big meeting, consider taking notes by hand instead of on your computer. Research shows that certain types of music are very helpful in recalling memories. Information that is learned while listening to a particular song or collection can often be recalled by thinking of the song or playing it mentally. Songs and music can serve as cues for pulling up particular memories. If you're looking into learning how to improve memory, this can be a great thing to try. Listening to music has been shown to specifically benefit the memorization of words. One study found that young adults who listen to music while memorizing a list of words, as opposed to listening to environmental sounds or silence, performed better when asked to recall the words. Next time you have to memorize a speech of want to compete in a spelling bee, try listening to music while studying. You may be surprised by how much it helps. Pay attention to photographers, charts and other graphics that might appear in your textbook, or if you're not studying a book. Try to pull up a mental image of what it is you are trying to remember. It might also help to draw your own charts or figures. Or utilize colors and highlighters to group related ideas in your notes. Another strong visualization technique for memory is the memory palace. This essentially involves imagining a place you know well, your house or a former school. For example, listing distinctive features of the place in your mind. And begin to associate those features with things you want to remember. Then. When you need to recall information, you simply go the specific room or object where you stored the information in your mind, and it will come to you. For more information on how to build a memory palace, check out this article, How to Build a Memory Palace to Remember More of Everything. Reading material out loud has been shown to significantly improve memory of the material. Expanding further upon this idea is the fact that psychologists and educators have found that by having students teach new concepts to others. It helps to enhance understanding and recall. One study pointed out that this increased memory specifically because it forced students to recall the information in order to teach it. Teach new concepts and information to a friend or study partner. And you'll find you remember the information a lot better. Studies have shown that doing crossword puzzles, reading, or playing cards on a daily basis helps to delay memory loss. Especially in those who experience cognitive decline in the form of dementia. So. Pick up the daily newspaper and work on that crossword puzzle. Read a book. Or enjoy a game of solitaire if you want to boost your memory. Everyone has the ability to learn how to improve memory and boost their brain power. And everyone will find that different strategies work for them. Try out some of the above in order to get a feel for what works for you. Current biology, physical exercise performed 4 hours after learning improves memory retention and increases hippocampal pattern similarity during retrieval archives of clinical neuropsychology, the effects of depression and anxiety on memory performance sleep medicine, memory, sleep and dreaming, experiencing consolidation Johns Hopkins medicine, can a nap boost brain health. Current neuropharmacology, impact of dietary fats on brain functions nutrients, dietary omega-3 fatty acid deficiency and high fructose intake in the development of metabolic syndrome. Brain metabolic abnormalities. 
and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease psychological science, the pen is mightier than the keyboard, advantages of longhand over laptop note taking music I scientii, the positive effect of music on source memory applied cognitive psychology, the learning benefits of teaching, a retrieval practice hypothesis J in neurocycle SOC, association of crossword puzzle participation with memory decline in persons who develop dementia. Text source, lifehack.org.